As the tiger approached a military base, the soldiers attempted to deter it. However, when they realized the true reason why the animal kept coming back, they were absolutely shocked. Encountering a tiger in the wild is a rare and extraordinary thing. Tigers are incredible and beautiful creatures with unmatched hunting abilities in the animal kingdom. That's why they are the most dangerous and deadliest predators, deserving a certain level of respect. Coming face to face with a tiger, especially when it's hungry or agitated and in its natural habitat, often ends in catastrophe. Therefore, the soldiers were understandably frightened and concerned when a large tiger repeatedly approached the gates of a military base in India. They were trained to fight and deal with other human beings, not tigers. The sight of such a large specimen roaming just outside the boundaries of the military base sent shivers down the spine of every single person, from the ordinary soldiers to the highest ranking members of the army. But there was something peculiar about the whole situation. The tiger didn't seem hungry or angry. It harbored a different emotion. It growled and paced back and forth. Unfortunately, no one understood what the large predator was trying to communicate to them. Uncertain of what to do, they continued to try to to drive it away. While it may have appeared peaceful at that moment, if the tiger were to become hungry, things could quickly turn deadly. Yet every time they deterred it, it returned within a few hours. The soldiers began to believe that it was testing their defense and searching for a way to sneak into the base unnoticed, to kill and devour unsuspecting soldiers who happened to be there. The people on the base became increasingly paranoid about the tiger's presence, and the longer the animal stayed, the more paranoid they became. Fortunately, one of the sergeants had a contact with a nearby zoologist. He would come to the base and deal with the tiger problem. When the zoologist arrived at the military base, he could practically smell the fear emanating from the soldiers. He saw that they were visibly nervous and apprehensive about the tiger's behavior. The zoologist was briefed on the situation and led to the location where the tiger appeared most frequently. This was the animal's last chance. If the expert couldn't handle the situation, it was ordered that the tiger would have to be shot. It was a distraction and a danger to the people on the base, and that simply couldn't be tolerated. However, the zoologists understood that tigers were intelligent and emotionally complex animals. The reports about this tiger's behavior were hardly believable, and he wasn't sure if he should fully trust the stories until he witnessed it himself. As he sat there, looking out one of the windows, he saw the tiger slowly emerging from the forest, just beyond the base. Once again, he heard the murmurs of the concerned soldiers looking at the animal with worried expressions and panicking once more. However, the zoologist tried to ignore all of that and simply observed how the tiger behaved. At first, the tiger headed straight towards the main gate of the military base, but stopped at the barrier area, gazing directly at the main building. That alone was strange. It sniffed the air before pacing back and forth, a few meters in each direction. Its eyes remained fixed on the main building, straining to listen beyond the murmurs of the concerned soldiers. The zoologist could hear the tiger growling and moaning, making strange, almost plaintive sounds. This was not typical tiger behavior, but what was happening with the mighty creature. The zoologist began documenting the tiger's movements, noting when it appeared, how frequently, where it went, and how long it stayed. After several days of careful observation, he had plenty of data to analyze. Finally, the zoologist approached the base commander to explain his findings and inform him of his assessment of the tiger situation. The zoologist had concluded that the tiger didn't pose a real threat to anyone on the base. Despite its intimidating appearance and notorious reputation, it behaved completely passively and didn't seem angry towards anyone. However, what was evident was that it was trying to communicate something to the soldiers. It was attempting to draw their attention to a problem or a situation. Unfortunately, careful observation alone wouldn't reveal exactly what the tiger was warning them about or trying to convey. The commander now had to make a decision. They could either shoot the tiger or approach it, follow its lead and see if it would guide them somewhere. The second option carried some obvious risks, so he had to weigh the benefits. In the end, the commander decided to allow a small group of men to accompany the zoologist. They would follow the tiger and report back on what they found. But who would be foolish enough to follow a wild tiger into the forest? Word quickly spread that the zoologist was looking for volunteers. Many soldiers feared for their lives and backed away from the task. Surprisingly, however, 
however, there were some who were interested in taking part of this adventure. They were just as curious to see what the tiger wanted and understood that they had to help if they wanted the tiger to leave the camp in peace. So one morning, the zoologist and a group of six soldiers set out from the base towards the tiger who was performing its ritual pacing along the fence, growling. The tiger stared at the soldiers but made no attempts to attack them. The zoologist and the soldiers calmed their nerves and followed the massive creature away from the military base into the jungle. As they walked, the tiger occasionally stopped and turned around, looking directly at each of the men. No one felt 100% safe, but for some reason they felt compelled to continue following this majestic animal deeper into the forest. It was as if the tiger was keeping an eye on them, ensuring they kept up with his brisk pace. However, eventually the tiger moved too far ahead and they lost sight of it. The group continued hoping to find it again. As they walked, they searched for clues and eventually discovered tiger paw prints that led them to a massive, swiftly flowing river. The zoologists knew that tigers were excellent and powerful swimmers, but indeed, on the opposite side of the river stood the drenched tiger next to a large pile of rocks. The group continued upstream, searching for a safe spot to cross. It was difficult and dangerous, but the entire team eventually made it to the other side. They marched back towards the tiger, and as the zoologist tried to follow the retreating tiger once again, he was called back by the other soldiers. They pointed to the rocks where the tiger had been standing just moments ago. One of the soldiers had heard a noise from beneath the mass of rocks, and the more the team listened, the more obvious the sounds became. It was a screeching and scratching sound. The strong soldiers began moving the stones to uncover who or what was trapped there. Eventually, there was a hole large enough for the zoologist to peek into, and as he did, he saw four eyes staring back at him. When he shone his flatlight on them, he was shocked to see two tiger cubs. They must have belonged to the mother. He carefully reached out and pulled the cubs out, noticing how weak and thin they looked. The soldiers reached into their backpacks and offered the little cubs their food, which they devoured immediately. The mother tiger watched everything from a distance, emitting a soft whimpering sound. She seemed concerned for her cubs, but she also seemed to understand that the group was helping them. The two cubs must have been trapped, caused by a landslide due to heavy rainfall. The tiger had been returning to the military base repeatedly, hoping that someone would follow her and rescue her babies. The soldiers were shocked as they realized this and felt bad for wrongly assuming that the tiger just wanted to eat them. She only wanted her cubs back. And now, thanks to the kindness of the team and their trustworthiness, she had them back safely and the tiger mama would forever be grateful for it.